In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to automate and silently install Notepad++ using the EXE installer. And as a bonus, I will show you how to create an XML template file to disable Notepad++ automatic updates. First, we will open our browser and navigate to the Notepad++ downloads page. I will select the 64-bit version since I'm running a 64-bit operating system. Click the installer link. I've downloaded the EXE to the C downloads folder. Next, we'll open an elevated command prompt by right clicking on command prompt and selecting run as administrator. I'll change the directory to the C downloads folder. Enter the following command. It's the executable file space forward slash uppercase S, then hit enter. After a few moments, you should see the notepad plus plus shortcut in the start menu, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. We also have the ability to change the default installation directory during the install. In this example, I will be installing Notepad++ to C Notepad++ instead of the program files directory. Enter the following command. You'll notice we have a forward slash D switch, which tells us where we're going to install the application. As you can see, Notepad++ has been installed in the C Notepad++ folder instead of the program files directory. Disabling Notepad++ automatic updates may be a requirement in your environment, so I will show you how to accomplish that next. First, we need to install Notepad++. You can either do this manually or silently. Next, we will open the Notepad++ application, navigate to the Settings tab, Select Preferences. Under the Miscellaneous section, uncheck Enable Notepad++ Automatic Updater. Click Close, and we're going to exit Notepad. Next, we'll navigate to the App Data Notepad++ directory of the current user's profile. We're going to copy the config.xml to the C downloads directory. Next, we will rename the config.xml file to config.model.xml, and this will be used as a template for all new installations. Next, we will uninstall Notepad++. Say no to would you like to keep your custom settings. Click close. Make sure that the notepad++ directory inside the app data folder has been deleted. I've created a simple batch file to detect the processor architecture, silently install notepad++, copy the XML file to the program files directory, and delete the notepad++ updater folder. To execute this batch file, simply type in install.cmd. We can see the Notepad++ start menu shortcut, the files in the installation directory, including the config.model.xml file, and also the updater folder has been deleted. As a quick side note, if the config.xml file already exists in the user profile, the settings will not change during a new install or upgrade. Now when you launch Notepad++ for the first time, a new config.xml file is created in the user's profile using the config.model.xml template we created earlier. You can confirm that the auto updater checkbox is no longer visible and you can see the updater under the help section is also gone. For more free content, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.